Hello everyone, I am Durgesh Sahani and we are creating tutorials for REST API development using JWT. So in the previous session we have seen some validation parts and we have decoded our JSON request into array. In this session we are going to see uh, the further, further validations and we'll, as we are going to create a API for API generate token. So it is required to validate this data, right? username and password email and password so this should be saved into our database so we'll create our database and our connection connection class file so let's go further so here we'll check if not is set dollar data of name if this is not set or dollar data name is equal to blank then in that case we'll throw this error um, so we already have a constant for that API name required okay and if it is good then we simply store this to our member variable service name which we are going to use further name same thing we have to do for this param but as it is array what we have to do we have to check here if not is array and no need to do this thing now api param is required here also you can say is required this will be changed to param and this one as well we already have this constant here api param required okay and if it is good then param is equal to param so let's check uh, once if you have this request you're not getting any error but if you not provide the name then you'll get an error that API name is required and if you not provide this thing uh, suppose you don't have this thing in that case as well you'll get an error param is required so we are done with the validation now we will see uh, our database for this for this user and uh, by using these uh, tokens we are going to create some more data so for that also we'll create our uh, tables for that so I'll create a new database JWT API create <coughs> um, name will be users ID int of pi and ma we'll make it primary key and auto increment now the next value is name varchar 60 then email varchar again 60 password 
square cap again 60 and the user status so if it is active then only we'll create a token for it else we'll not create it we'll throw some error now the last one is date created date you can say so just name it created date or created on okay just create it we can make make email as a, a unique key so it will not be duplicate now just insert some data into it admin admin at the rate gmail.com password is maybe admin123 active1 and created on now second value will create email id will be sign in at the rate gmail.com password will be pass123 active will not make it active will throw some error for this user and then go so now we have two data in our database in our tables so we'll create uh, try to create json token for this user and by using these tokens we'll create some more data so for that also we'll create one new table just name it um, customers create customers 7 to 8 columns over here so first name will be id and which will be int of 5 We'll make it primary key <coughs> and auto increment check now customer name where cap 60 you can ask email address then address then mobile and updated by yes updated on two more records we can create two more columns actually uh, created by and created on So it will be date, it will be integer of 5, updated on it will be date and updated by it will be int maybe of 5. Mobile number will take it as a big int, address where care of 100, email 60. Now table is ready, so save it. So we have this thing again we can make this email address as a, a unique key so <coughs> our table is ready our database and tables are ready now what we have to do we have to create a class to connect with our database so we'll create a new file and name it db connect dot php We'll create a class and we'll give the name DB Connect and We 
don't want constructor over here we'll give a name like public function connect uh, by default any function is public within the class but if you want so we can uh, specify public and here we have to specify some uh, member variables which we are going to use in while connecting so I'll just make some variable server which will be uh, localhost now the next one is db name db name will be just we have created jwt api and private user for me user is root so root with blank password so password will be blank okay I'm going to use a PDO database so if you don't know about PDO MySQL database with PDO uh, uh, for connecting our database and performing all the operations so if you don't know about database I have just recently created tutorials on PDO so you can go there and check it out so I'll create one new variable connection is equal to new PDO and here we have to specify a driver so on which database do you want to connect so which is MySQL my SQL colon host we have to specify so for us host is uh, local host which is which we already have saved into server now uh, second thing is semicolon and now we have to specify DB name so DB name is equal to concat it with DB name and the third parameter will be user and the last one password and we can set attributes to it uh, for getting errors and we can handle it easily as PDO support its own uh, PDO exception so connection we can set attribute to by using set attribute function it have uh, it accept two parameters which is PDO uh, scope resolution operator first attribute is first parameter is attribute underscore error mode and the second one is PDO scope resolution operator uh, error mode underscore exception okay as and we can write it into try and catch block so we can handle it properly if any error occur we can catch it and we can throw it properly so here I'll say uh, echo if any error occur so just say database error and concat it with dollar e get message so whatever error thrown by PDO we can catch it here and we can handle it properly
so now if you want to check whether the connection is successful or not uh, we can create an object of this class over here dollar db is equal to new db connect and db connect so we'll call this function if everything is good then uh, we'll not get any message or we can print it here like echo successfully connected or something or if any we are getting any error then uh, it will be cached by this cache block and will handle okay so let's see now so what we have to do here is we have to say db connect and just send button you are not getting any error that's mean you are connected with the database for example if i remove this thing uh, database name so we should get some error here Oops. Um, okay so we have forget this thing host equal to this thing should be uh, like this so we forgot that that's that's why we were not getting some error i guess yeah we are getting some error here uh, undefined function get message get message see we are getting error here unknown database you can see database error and we are getting this error properly if you if we correct it again will not get any error so yes okay so we are connected with our database successfully um, so after that we will just return it this connection object which we can use uh, where we we'll include this uh, db connect file just remove these two things now so in the next tutorials we will see some uh, actual process api part and uh, we'll create a new api generate token and yeah so thank you very much guys for watching